My name is Chelsea Hedquist. I'm the executive director of the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice. I think what the International Religious Freedom Summit is trying to do is a really powerful step on the way to finding solutions, and that is bringing people together to advocate for members of communities that are not their own. We have this amazing group of partners who come from every political persuasion, almost every faith community in the world, lots of different cultural backgrounds, um, and having them all come together and advocate together for the fundamental right to freedom of religion, conscience, and belief. Um, that's sort of what makes this movement so powerful. I come to this issue through a very personal path. My grandfather and grandmother are actually Holocaust survivors. Um, my grandfather was the only Holocaust survivor ever elected to the United States Congress. Um, obviously, the Holocaust is the most extreme example of um, where religious freedom and religious tolerance um, has gone horribly awry with devastating and, and tragic consequences. We see religious persecution and discrimination in so many different shades and so many different forms all around the world, you know, and we see it in the humanist who's thrown into prison in Saudi Arabia. We see it in the Uyghurs being detained in what are virtually modern-day concentration camps in China. Um, but we also see it in, in smaller and more subtle ways. Those small and perhaps seemingly insignificant injustices or indignities committed against um, faith communities, those can, can with some alarming speed move towards very grave injustices and even something as severe as genocide. Wherever we are in the world, wherever we see that freedom impinged upon, uh, we need to be fighting to preserve it and standing up to defend it.